Do you know your poop has been telling you about your health your entire life? You just never understood the message. Thankfully, medical professionals have developed a guide to decrypt the secret code so you can understand what your poop has been telling you all this time. It's called the Bristol Stool Chart. Today, you'll learn how to use the Bristol Stool Chart to improve your poop health. I'm Nurse Wall, and this is Bug Talks. Have you ever wondered what makes your poop different shapes or textures? If so, you have thought like the doctors from the Bristol Royal Infirmary who developed the Bristol Stool Chart to simply evaluate your poop health. In 1997, these doctors created this pictograph to easily classify the seven major poop types and their meaning about your digestive health. This diagram is now used by poop doctors internationally to diagnose general digestive health. Let's look at the physical description about each stool type and what it means about your digestive health. Type 1. Separate hard lumps. Type 1 poops are small, nut-shaped, rock-like, and can be difficult to pass. If your poop matches this description, you most likely are dehydrated, lacking fiber, and or constipated. This is a sign that you should be focusing on improving your dietary intake and hydrating more often. Be sure to boost servings of natural foods into your diet. Most fruits, vegetables, nuts, and legumes are high in fiber and will help make your poops easier to pass. After hydrating and boosting your intake of natural foods over a few weeks, if you are still suffering from type 1 poops, consult with your medical professional to find the right medication to soften your poop. Type 2 Sausage Shape and Lumpy Poops Type 2 poops have a similar texture to type 1 poops but are sausage shape and lumpy. These can be difficult and painful with passing. If you have type 2 poops, you may be lacking fiber and proper hydration but also be suffering from mild constipation. Some great foods to help address this situation include prunes, apples, melons, papaya, and pineapple. This is because type 2 poops sit in the bowels longer than normal and accumulate without being broken down properly. If you have increased your fiber and hydration and it still hasn't helped, you should consult your doctor or gastroenterologist on the best treatment to resolve this issue. Type 3. Sausage shape but with cracks on its surface. Well, you are on your way to having a perfect poop. Although type 3 poops are not the easiest and softest to pass, they are comparatively better than type 1 or type 2 poops. Type 3 is heading toward the ideal shape like a sausage. This is because of its water retention content, which acts as a lubricant when passing stool. If your poop matches this description, then you are on your way to having a perfect poop. If you further want to support your gut health, consider adding beans, hummus, nut butters, and fruits like bananas, avocados, and smoothies into your diet. Type four. Sausage or snake shape with smooth and soft texture. Congratulations! You have reached the poop pinnacle! <laughs> now you are playing by the poop rule book. Keep it up! But remember, you're only as good as your last poop. Type 4 poops mean the microbiomes in your digestive system are breaking down foods without trouble and you're averaging about one to two good poops per day. I recommend aiming to have regularly type 4 poops and your buddy will thank you. Type 5, soft blobs with clear cut edges. Type 5 poops are not quite diarrhea, but they are definitely loose. You may feel rushed to find a toilet when type 5 comes around. You are starting to slip on the poop rules. It's time to go back to the book. 
This classification means food is processed extra quickly in the gut and you may have to go two or three times a day. This could be caused by a higher intake of spices, sugars, or stimulants that can irritate the bowels. Removing some of the possible irritants will bring your poop back to type 4, the perfect poop placement. Be sure to review our videos on improving diet and lifestyle habits for extra tips and tricks from Butt Talks TV. Keeping a diary will help track your patterns of your poop. Feel free to discuss these issues with your medical provider. Type 6. Diarrhea with jagged edges and fluffy pieces. Type 6 poops will definitely send you running to the bathroom. Now you're getting into dangerous territory. While it's not the worst of diarrhea, type 6 is notably messy and can be bothersome to deal with. It is also more difficult to clean yourself completely after type 6 poop. This can be caused by a hyperactive colon, excessive dietary potassium, magnesium, laxatives, or irritants. Stress affecting the bowels to move faster. People who are regularly experiencing type 6 poops should visit their doctor or gastroenterologist to address the cause of these poops. Type 7 Liquid diarrhea with no solid shape Type 7 poops are defined as severe diarrhea, which is entirely liquid feces. If you can't find a bathroom in a few seconds, you are in big trouble. Type 7 poops are a symptom of food poisoning, illness, allergic reaction, and even bacterial or parasitic infection. Resolving consistent type 7 poops requires reevaluating your diet, medication intake, and hydration. Please seek out immediate medical attention if you cannot resolve it on your own. For more information on type 7 poops or diarrhea, check out our video on diarrhea where we look into the many causes, symptoms, and treatments. We can take a few important lessons from the Bristol stool chart to improve our overall poop health. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you would like to learn about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!